McDonald's has dropped tomatoes from its menu, whereas a Mumbai farmer earns 2.8 crores selling tomatoes. Yes, guys. Well, hello, my name is Vidhi Kalra Balana and welcome back to my channel 5 Minute Economics, where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. The topic for today is the burning hot topic of the hour, which is tomatoes and hyperinflation, a vicious circle. Well, yes, guys, not only is this topic burning, but the prices of tomato, they are rising high. Well, why is that happening? We've been reading everywhere. The tomatoes have become so costly. We've been seeing memes on Instagram and everywhere on Twitter. So what is the cause of this rising price? What has led to the rising price of these essential tomatoes? And what can be done to get them back to normalcy? I thought to make a video on such a topic about what everyone is you know, curious to know that how to go about tomatoes and have you also started using less tomatoes in your home well if yes let me know in the comment section below today's video is going to be all about this topic and what is hyperinflation basically we all know what inflation is but today we'll be learning about hyperinflation tomatoes they go hand in hand how it is a vicious circle and how to uh, you know curb it so yeah let's get started guys also guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already also follow me on my instagram handle five minute economics for some amazing and entertaining content uh, so guys basically let me introduce to you what actually is happening in the economy if you've ever gone to a vegetable vendor you might know that you know the prices of tomato basically ranges from 30 to 40 rupees a kg and tomato is an essential good which we put in most of our um, you know vegetables sabzis hum tomato ke bina khana kaise banayenge you know it's like an essential good right and now the price of tomatoes has reached 200 rupees a kg <laughs> can you imagine like one kg tomato costs 200 rupees a bare necessity which we put in all our dishes has cost has increased the price so much so what is this happening basically guys this is known as like hyperinflation what is happening uh, in tomatoes the inflation inflation if you know guys what it is it is actually a gradual increase in the price over a period of time but hyperinflation happens very suddenly it is basically a rapid excessive out of control when things are going out of control of course in the case of tomatoes that's what is happening a 50 percent basically increase every month that is known as a hyperinflation it's also known as galloping inflation as you know hyper and galloping you know running fast it's just uh, the name very name hyperinflation lets us know what actually is that so right so that is what what is happening guys so government has said basically because of the seasonal variations in demand and supply that has happened it has said that you know uh, what happens if you uh, if you study demand chapter i'm sure all of you must have studied if you haven't you can check out my video on demand an exception to demand is that you know we tend to buy something when the price is low but what happens in such a case even when the price is high people tend to buy why guys because price is rising higher it's better to buy 200 rupees a kg rather than buying uh, 250 rupees a kg after two three days right so that is why prices are rising yet people are demanding more which basically creates this creates an increase in the short-term demand and there is not much of a supply because of seasonal variations. There's this mismanagement which has happened. During this time, you know, cash is losing its value very quickly during this hyperinflation. You know, uh, when you used to just take 20, 30 rupees to buy tomatoes. Now, even when you're taking 100 rupees, you're unable to buy tomatoes for the family or how much you require. So that that amount that, you know, that 50 rupee note, basically, if you took initially, has lost its value because now literally you are getting this many tomatoes in 50 rupees, right? So you have to manage cash better uh, during such a case. And uh, of course, because cash is losing value. You know, often it happens during hyperinflation. Menu cost, I've already done a video on menu cost, sticky price. I'll attach its link also in the comment section below. So what happens is menu cost basically is the cost to change the menu. In short, I'm telling you of the restaurant. Back in 1920, what example I'm going to share with you is in Germany, what happened, there was so much hyperinflation that every 30 minutes, um, um, a, bar a bartender or a waiter basically he used to come to the table and say that the price has changed imagine you are eating the food you've ordered it at 40 rupees and now it's become 50 so that was the thing in half of an hour the prices have uh, were changing back in 1920s during the german hyperinflation so what if guys something like this you're going to the vegetable shopkeeper knowing that this is the price and suddenly by while buying it just changes so this is this can happen so this is what basically hyperinflation is all about
so let us quickly run through the causes of this excessive rise in price basically guys adverse weather conditions which we all know our country is facing floods and so much of excessive rain because of you know global warming we've seen so much rain in these months in places where there has been no rain in years or very little rain we've seen so much rain so much flooding which of course harms the crop and creates a shortage for it so that is the reason there has been an imbalance between demand and supply because of course as i told you prices are rising people are tending to demand more and because of weather conditions the supply is less pushing up the prices basically if you know demand and supply how it works so guys this this basically you know tomato inflation can cause india's delicate inflation equilibrium to also be disturbed you know um, basically a retail inflation because of this food inflation a retail inflation in july and september is expected to rise and reach to 5.5% so that is you know what can happen when the prices of such essential goods like onions tomatoes or lemons increases so initially when i introduced this very video to you guys i told you tomatoes and hyperinflation a vicious circle well definitely moving from tomatoes to hyperinflation let us see how it is a vicious circle definitely guys once an economy gets into a hyperinflation in the scenario is difficult for it to come out of it okay so what happens is government tries to control this problem by adding more zeros to the paper currency basically you know printing bigger notes because you know now value of money has fallen so much as we saw in tomatoes case also we have to take a lot of money to actually buy just tomatoes so that is why value has falling uh, eventually what might happen that people will just you know, when hype inflation just goes up uh it becomes intolerable now how will people you know take sacks of uh, of uh, money to just buy tomatoes they eventually lead uh, tend to do barter system like guys tomatoes honestly coming back to tomatoes don't think the tomatoes are reaching that stage but definitely what hyperinflation is i'm going to explain you in this particular segment i'm telling you that people tend to use barter system of exchange when the situation goes worse you know out of hand uh the government what can government do government just keeps simply keeps on printing more money because there is a lack of money so much money is needed to buy this many things so of course we need more money and what hype happens is like as i told you it's a vicious circle during hyperinflation our tax system gets also affected what happens because you know the value of money is changing so frequently so constantly and tax system you know the time when tax is levied by the time the money is collected the value of money changes so government tends to suffer and this might happen at hyperinflation has in when a government has inadequate tax system uh, due to which it prints more money so if you don't have a good tax system of course you will need more money to cater to it what will happen is that you know when government is facing any debt facing any shortage it tends to print more money right that is the thing when government can borrow if it's unable to borrow it will print more rbi or any other country you know they will ask their bank to do that so rapid money will basically more money will lead to hyperinflation hyperinflation basically you know leads to uh, a budget deficit which if there's a government is facing a budget deficit it will further lead to more printing so this is a vicious circle which i have spoken about that you know more money print karne se solution nahi nikalta hai that is not the solution we expect you know of course when government is facing <clears throat> i'm sorry uh, any deficit it tends to do that and get, getting more currency in the economy is also not good because it's leading to hyperinflation price of everything is rising so this is basically price of everything is rising they will print more currency so it is a circle which keeps on going keeps on going and there is one way to actually just completely end hyperinflation when it's actually reach that stage back in 2009 zimbabwe had done that they had replaced their currency they had stopped the usage of their uh, money you know their currency basically they said now this currency won't be used usd will be used and that is how they got the economy back into um, functioning but that is an extreme scenario don't worry india is definitely not going to face that uh, as uh, many economists say i'll be explaining to you in the next segment that it is just a seasonal phenomena of course every year it happens but this year it has happened out of hands but it won't lead to a situation like you know like we have to change the currency or something like that but yes that is a problem in the economy as well so lastly guys what do economists and other apa mmc members have to say they basically say that it is because of rains and floods and you know rains in uttarakhand and himachal especially the cause of such rising prices it's a seasonal phenomena it will settle down and it's not something one should worry that much and uh, it also said that you know it's since it's a perishable item we can't even store it a lot even in cold storages there is limit to when you know you can 
store such an item like tomatoes so one can also switch to puree tomato puree you know that guys it's basically if you can use a processed version of tomatoes if not fresh tomatoes people can use that and uh, apmc members also say that you know government should uh, reduce the taxes on tomato puree from 12 to 5 percent so all these things can be done and this is all what about tomatoes hyperinflation vicious circle is all about guys i hope you could gain some knowledge about this topic from my very video and i'll see in the next video pretty soon